What up, guys? On the Dude, next I episode. Like I knew oh, no. Yes, Green Man bites Badler tonight. I think Badler's gonna take him for sure. Now George again. The animation looks different. You seem like you're a little bummed out today. I am. I have Kinda. to have my tooth pulled at the dentist after school today. Oh, oh hell no. Must be a bad cavity. Oh, no. For some reason, one of my baby teeth won't fall out. The dentist said I had to have it pulled so that my permanent tooth could come in. I still have my wisdom teeth. Horrible pain known to man. Don't mind George. So who's I the never want to I'm never going to take him off. This is right by garden. That terrifies me. Hey, I used to go to her. She's awesome. And she's so pretty. She's like an angel with a drill. Yeah. Oh, what? She's really sweet. She's all booked up for 2 weeks, but she said she would see me after hours because she's worried about my tooth. My mom said that it's pretty special for a doctor to care so much. What time is your appointment? Sketchy. Mass driver starts at 7.30. If you hurry home, you just might make it in time. <sighs> Bruh. Superhero shows and baby tea. That's life in elementary school for you. It doesn't get much bigger than that. Dental clinic. I wonder what's going to be the thing that's going to happen. Like, this we're going to find her missing tooth. Yeah, we're here. I don't know, Amy. It looks closed. It is. The doctor said to come to the back door. I'm the VIP. Brother. <laughs> Sketchy. Well, so she goes by herself, but not with with Conan, but not with his, her mom. <laughs> Are you sure this is the way? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, she's gonna murder him. There it is. Sketchy. I don't know what that says. There, young lady. This is my good friend Conan, the one I told you about. His teeth are fine. He's keeping me company. Nice to meet you. You too. Amy's told me all about you. That you're hmm. with Richard Moore, a famous detective. Is it true he solved some murder cases that even had the police? <gasps> oh, this is the third yes. episode we haven't seen Richard. And I hear you're quite a detective yourself. Is that right? Oh well, I'm not all that great. Well, it was nice to meet you, but we've got a tooth to pull. Oh well, I was gonna stay with Amy so I could walk. <gasps> Oh, that's okay. I plan to what? drive Amy home myself. Now you'd better run along and get home. What the fuck? Sketchy ass Sorry, bitch. Amy. Are you ready? Oh. Hi, Conan. Hey, no worries, Amy. You're in good hands. See you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thanks for um, walking with me, Conan. No problem. See ya. Right Conan, way, young lady. Conan ain't gonna leave, bro. He yes, see. If you could wait for me in here, I'll get things ready. He needs to see that something's fishy, bro. Dude, that's a nice ass dental place, bro. Dude, is she gonna get trafficked, bro? I'm early. She gonna go get sold in the black I market. The best cards. Wow! This is the sign I've been looking for. I'm not scared anymore. My bro. lucky card, the Ace of Hearts. This will watch over me like the masked Yaiba watches over the innocent. <laughs> what the? She just jacked the damn card. Who cares if the condo's got problems? Sell the thing, get the commission, and let them <gasps> worry about it. Do you think I got to where I am by being a saint? Ogre from Yu Yu Hakusho. Look, I'll call you later. Sell it. Okay, okay. I, I like this guy just because of his voice. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. <gasps> oh. oh, this is an easy what? one. What did I do? This is an easy one. The dentist lady did it. And, um, what you call it? Uh, she has a little girl there for, she could be her alibi. Watch the news? This guy was totally bang, 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 game over. Yesterday. Next. Yeah, I read about that in the paper this morning. He was the president of a real estate agency. The manager of the condominiums found the body last night with the lady that lives there. Come on, even the you know gloves, bro? George knows that lady, and so does Amy. It's their dentist, Dr. Peeler. Huh? Wait, what? Right, Amy? Yeah, Wait, what? The inspector came to my house and asked if I was really at Dr. Keeler's until 7.30. Were you, Amy? Wait, who? Well, yeah, we got to her office at 6.30, and then it took an hour to have my tooth pulled. After that, I watched Masked Yaiba with Dr. Keeler in another room. Why would they be asking questions about Dr. Keeler? Well, since she was the first one to find the body, they were probably double-checking her alibi. Wait, is that her ex or husband? It must have occurred right around 7.30. My dumbass was talking. So. Shit. Well, that means Dr. Keeler's in the clear. I knew it. Now that we got that cleared up, wasn't that episode of Mass Driver awesome last night? 
Yes, no. It was better than great. I told this... you Green Man was gonna defeat Sadler. What a fight! This is an easy ass care, case. Baby? Are you okay? No! I missed the big fight! <laughs> I was waiting all week and I missed it! Uh, but you just said you watched it with Dr. Keeler. The first part of the episode, but I fell asleep during the second part. You fell asleep? <laughs> that is a little strange. Can you remember what happened, Amy? That... No, I remember it all. Oh, she put something. She gave her extra um, no. that thing that makes you feel like all, uh, like that. That. That's natural after getting a tooth pulled. Why don't you take a nap in the waiting room while I get ready? Come on, yo. They're slacking on this one, bro. This is too easy. Oh. They slacking, bruh. Time to wake up. Your show's about to start. <gasps> Mask Yaiba! Mask Yaiba. That's the... Um, that's a real show in, in Japan, right? But, like, a different name, I think. Isn't it Kaiman or something? Kaiman Rider? I don't know. More drugs, bro? What's up, what's up with you, bro? Alright, good. I thought she was gonna get tra like traffic or something. Oh, that's cute. So wait, she did watch it. Oh, she said. I think she said she missed like half of it. You must have brought me good luck, Mastiaba, because my prayer was answered. My tooth didn't hurt at all. <laughs> After I put my lucky card, oh, she didn't steal it. That may have been your problem. You should have kept the lucky card until the show was over. What happened next? Well, I remember watching Masky Aiba and thinking how cool it was. But then my eyes got heavy and I fell asleep again. I mean, Amy, them pills are sweetheart. Time to were, go home. were probably oh, extra strong. <gasps> oh, bro, is that the guy <laughs> from Dragon Ball Z? But you were sleeping so soundly. That he was talking at the end of the episodes. Get you home to your parents. That'd be so cool if it is. That's how I missed the second half of Mask Yaiba. I will not stand for this. Somebody must have recorded the show last night. Yeah, we'll find a copy for you. Don't worry. Hmm. Hmm. I solved the case, Conan. You're a little bit too late. Inspector. Hey there, Conan. Come on, kid. <gasps> Rachel. Look, Rachel's not a hoe. You something about yesterday. So She's down, wifey like, oh, material. Okay. So what tipped this Dr. Right. Keeler lady off? Why did she take the condom? She just has to protect herself a little bit more around guys, you know, like well, smack them. According to her, when she got back from her clinic around 8:30, she heard the TV blaring next door, so she went to the manager's office and asked him to have the tenant turn it down. Of course, the victim never answered the door, so the manager let himself in and found Mr. Barnes lying on his back as dead as a doornail. The way Dr. Keeler found the body seems innocent enough, but if you're checking her alibi, then you must think she has a motive for murder. You think yeah. Atlantis killed this guy? Bert Barnes, the guy who was killed, was booked 26 years ago over in Suffolk County as the prime suspect in an abduction murder case. And the oh. victim was a small child. Oh. So there's a connection. <gasps> oh my was accused god. accused of murdering a nine-year-old paper boy. Oh were eventually dropped and Barnes was released because of insufficient evidence. The boy he was did survived it. by his parents and by his seven-year-old sister, who is none other than Karen Damn. Keeler, Dr. Karen Keeler. Dude, this so is the easiest case in the anime. 26 years after the fact? Why not? But Dr. Keeler claims she had no idea that Burt Barnes was the same man suspected of killing her brother back then. I've heard of some strange coincidences, but that's stretching it. Well, I yeah. think you could crack this case. Why don't you get the help of the great Detective Moore? He'll figure it out. <coughs> well, officially, I'm not allowed to enlist the help of civilians. <laughs> uh, that's right, Inspector. But Rich you're not is enlisting a... my help. You're just confiding in an old friend. Amy got to the clinic at 6.30 and woke up an hour later. It takes 15 minutes to drive from the dental clinic to the condominium complex. We don't need to hear this. Dr. Keeler put Amy to sleep and left her at the clinic. She could have driven to the condo. Committed the murder and driven back with time to spare. And yeah, we solved this. Too. Now here's the problem. Amy said that she and Dr. Keeler started watching Mask Yaiba together at 7:30. She fell asleep. The murder was committed at 7:30. Wait, what? Good doctor, an airtight alibi. Hold up. 
Wait, what? Are you sure about the time of death? Could Mr. Barnes have been killed before 7.30? Yeah, it has to Mr. be. Mr. Barnes was talking on the phone with one of his agents at 7.29. The agent said that he heard the doorbell ring while they were talking and that Barnes got off the phone to answer it. It was his own death that Barnes found behind that door, and the prime suspect, the only one with a motive, was watching TV on the other side of town. Ha <laughs> ha! Let me at her. I'll show that dentist a thing or two. I've solved the mystery, Inspector. Take what? Take the dealer's dental clinic, and I'll disprove her alibi right before your very eyes. No one outsmarts Richard Moore. Wait, is he serious? Hey, he's really serious. Come on. I never see him like that. He's like, he's like, oh, this is an easy ass case. I got this one. I could solve it without Conan's out getting knocked out. Sorry to barge in on you like this, Dr. Keeler. It's okay. Yeah, that's a big belly. Why don't you all have a seat? <clears throat> Thank you. I think she touched her best belly. <laughs> Look. These are the masked Yiba cards that Amy was talking about. I'll get some coffee. Uh, that won't be necessary. Oh, um, where are you touching? take long. There's been a new development in the Barnes murder case. I have deduced that the killer is none other than you, Dr. Keeler. What are you talking about, Moore? She has a perfectly good alibi. Yes, she was watching Masked Yaiba with Amy, but not at 7.30. Dr. Keeler had actually taped the episode earlier that evening, then played oh. it back for Amy and Amy to create that airtight alibi. Are you we, sure about this? Wait. Well, doctor? Conan, what you got to say about this? Is it true? I'm listening, Detective. It's simple. After killing Bert Barnes, you got back here at around 7.55. You had automatically recorded the Masked Yaiba episode, and you woke up Amy and started it for her at 8. Now, if you had let her watch the whole show, you would have brought her home too late. So, you put her to sleep again. Then fast-forwarded the tape and woke her up a few minutes later. Of course, you had reset oh. the clock again to make her think that she'd slept through the show. Oh. She told officials she was with you when the show started. Damn, Which Richard. You the perfect alibi at 7.30 when the murder was committed. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> but am I dumb? Just a second. Dr. Keeler doesn't have a VCR. Uh, well, wait, maybe she could have taken it out. She leave it here and give us an important piece to the Exactly. But I'm on Witcher's side. Detective, and your theory has me here after 8 o'clock, but I left here at 8 with Amy and had her home by 8.05. You can double check with her parents on that. Uh, oh, look, shit. I'm a respected professional in this community, and I think you should get your facts straight before making accusations that could damage that. Oh, oh, please forgive me, Doc. Damn. Alright, <laughs> oh, my bad. You know, look at Rich. Why am I not satisfied? <laughs> yeah, me neither. We we know she did it. I plan to drive Amy home myself. Now you'd better run along and get home before it gets dark. You were nice enough about it, but you definitely yeah. wanted me out of there. Yeah. Everything yeah. would have been ruined if I had stayed. It had all been carefully planned. And Even you're finding the body when you you had to find it soon so the police could make an accurate estimation of the time of death. Yeah. It was essential that they figure out that Barnes was killed at 7.30 because that's the time that you had an alibi for. But if your alibi is a lie, how can I prove it? And she's hot. You know what I mean? I just, you know, I just got to put that out there. You know what I mean? All right, so we know who did it, obviously. I guess we just got to find out how she did it. tricks used when fabricating an alibi. One, you can get someone to lie for you. You well, yeah. He's not lying. Or being a camera. Two, you can fake the time. But we oh. know that Barnes was murdered right at 7.30. And that Dr. Keeler was treating Amy around then. Three, you the go camera. out of your way to prove that you were somewhere else when the Shit. murder took place. That's the avenue that I have to explore. It has to be an illusion dealing with place. Yo, being a real detective has to be so damn, like, hard, bro. Like, I, you know how these murders happen and then finding out who did it? That's crazy. It looks like they stopped building when they were halfway finished. Hmm. What are those these tracks? These tracks are pretty fresh. Hmm. If someone were to park here, they could actually enter the condominium complex without being seen. Really? That must be Dr. Keeler's condo there. Those are the same curtains as the ones in her office. Damn, this girl really moved where the killer of her, like, little brother was, like, uh, living. So that's it. I get it now. What? The illusion had to do with place after all. 
And if I'm right, there must be some evidence left in her condo. She couldn't have gotten rid of it all so soon. Wait, what? I'm confused. Uh, Colvin, it's <laughs> you. Yeah, just chilling like this. Just passing by. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to you about something That's funny. to me. Mm -hmm. Well, of course then. Come on in. I'm trying to make out. Because my teeth hurt. Here we are. Damn, a condo. Yo, I would love to live in a condo. Make yourself at home, Pam. Thanks. How about something to drink? <laughs> Would you like some juice? Sure. I see you got rid of the fridge already. Uh -huh. You also took down the calendar and changed the clock. You probably would have gotten a new TV by now if it wasn't so big and hard to move. I beg your pardon? Oh, it shit. It's suspicious if you got rid of the table and sofa. Yeah, it's probably best to wait a little while on the furniture, but you could have at least changed the curtains. What are you saying? Wait, what? Well, to put it simply, I figured out your trick, Dr. Healer. You set up this room to look exactly like the waiting room in your clinic and tricked me. <gasps> she was there the whole time when she was No, here. no now, way. The situation you have. Please go on, Mr. <gasps> After using the anesthesia what? to sleep, you took her to your car. And at about 7.05, you started driving here to your car. Bro. At about 7.20, you parked your car at the construction site behind the complex and carried Amy up the stairs of the emergency exit to your condo. That's my bad. Exactly like the waiting room at your office. I got too cocky. Look what happens. Stephen when I get cocky, I always lose. Visit to Burke Barnes at 7.30, unfortunately for him. Before you left, you ran into his condo and cranked up the volume to his TV, hoping that someone would find him soon. You wanted the police to be able to figure out the time of death because that's the time that you were building your alibi for. Wow. You straight back to your condo and woke up Amy. After she saw that masked Yaiba had just begun and she watched a few minutes of it, you put her back to sleep and drove her back to your office. You arrived at six minutes until eight and woke Amy up once again. Just in time for her to see the end of the masked Yaiba episode at your clinic. All that work? Gone off without a hitch. All that work just to murder someone. Condos, God damn. No one had discovered Barnes' body yet. At the risk of becoming a suspect, you brought the manager to Barnes' condo, deciding to rely on your perfect alibi. Damn. It's an incredible story. But it's just a story. You have no proof to back it up, Connor. Um, you Actually, sure? There should be proof here. It's, it's right there. Cards. Wait, what? You have a deck of cards just like this in the waiting room at your office. You have no way of knowing this, but before she had her tooth pulled, Amy put one of the cards in her pocket for good luck. It was the ace of hearts. When you woke Amy up to watch the masked Yaiba, she put it back <coughs> in the deck. Wait, how is that going to prove anything? When you woke her up, then there should be two aces of hearts in this deck. Oh. If Amy was at your office, as you say, there should only be one. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! There's one. Bro, but she could just like literally kill <laughs> he's a little kid. They're by themselves. <laughs> Bitch, you did it. I'd be willing to bet that Amy's fingerprints are on one of these cards, Dr. King. Oh, that's I'm how sure you would. Who else did you tell about this, Conan? I haven't told anyone, Doctor. Oh no, why would you say that? In this room, not a single soul knows that you killed Burt Barnes. Yo. Dude, he's she he's making her like, yo, hey, do something. <laughs> I dare you. Conan got some big ass balls. Oh. Dramatic as fuck. Conan, you're right about everything. It's just as you say. For a second Barnes from when you were little. I thought she was going to jump off. Didn't you? Thank God she did it. He did it all right. I saw him with my own eyes. I will never forget that face. I watched him as he forced my brother into his car and drove off. But the prosecution felt that they couldn't get a conviction based only on my testimony. Damn. They said that I was too young. I was only seven years old at the time. So he got off. <sighs> they dropped the charges and I watched as the man who killed my brother walked with his freedom. Child Maybe killer, bro. Around back then, you could have brought Bert Barnes to justice, so I didn't have to do it myself. I bet he would. I love you, though. Not only had Bert Barnes killed her brother, he had taken away her peace, and it took 25 years to get it back. Damn, bro. If I was Conan, bro, I'd be like, yo, you know what? 
what card and I'll rip it. I'll let her get away with it, bro, because come on, bro. Like, that monster killed the little kid, bro, for like what reason? Like, there should never be a re There's no, no reason, but like, but a piece of shit, bro. Like, I would have, like, dead ass. Yo, if Conan does that right now, bro, uh, he's the GOAT. He's the probably not going to do it. <laughs> but he's the GOAT. Right, let's see here. Go. I'll be Damn. Done. Go figure. She gets away with the perfect crime and then she turns herself in. I'll never understand women as long as I. So Conan live. didn't even. It's pretty strange. The police didn't have any evidence against her. Well, maybe deep down there was a part of Dr. Keeler that never really wanted to get away with the murder. Damn. And after all, Amy had already told her that she was friends with a famous detective. Yet she still chose Amy to be her witness. True. I see what you mean. Why bring a sleuth like me to the mix and risk being busted? <laughs> no, no, it's not you, bro. I think there was a little girl that needed my help. Oh. Didn't want to get away with anything. She just wanted to be set free. Damn, bro. That's sad, man. And she, she was a great person, bro. Dentist out here, bro. Super nice. I would have told her, hey, man, like, continue your life, bro. You know, you good. Hey, man, he's a piece of shit anyways. All right, guys. I love you. Y'all the best. Thank you for watching. Um, Let me, you know, if I miss anything, let me know in the comments. You know, I love talking to you guys. And um, y'all the best. And please leave a like if you enjoyed. It shows me that, you know, to keep on, you know, flooding you with episodes. And um, sorry today's a little slow. You know, I didn't feel too good today. Tired. But um, but anyways, I love you guys. Um, for real, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome, y'all the best. Till next time.